In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Prometheus and Grafana with Docker so that you can monitor your server. So let's jump right into it. First thing that we need to do is connect via SSH and I've prepared two VMs here. One is going to be the target server that we want to monitor and the other one is the server where we're going to set up Prometheus and Grafana. Let's connect with SSH. Okay, that's our Prometheus server and our target server. These machines already have Docker installed. If you don't know how to install Docker, you can uh, check out this video. And in, in this video, I explain how to install Docker on Rocky Linux 9. This is what we're using as our uh, server distribution. So let's set up Prometheus first. We're going to create a folder on OPT called Docker. And here's where we're going to put all our Docker containers. So we do mkdir slash opt docker and then we can do docker prometheus okay so now let's navigate to our docker prometheus and of course it's empty we're going to use docker compose for all our setups so we're going to create our docker compose file right now to create a new file we're going to use vim and the name of our file needs to be docker dash compose dot yml Okay, so I'm going to copy the configuration here. I'll leave this Docker configuration on the comment section below so that you can copy and paste exactly the same. I'm going to use the set paste function of Vim to copy this with the right format. Our configuration file. So it says version three services, Prometheus image is the latest official Prometheus uh, Docker image. And the container name is Prometheus. Uh, the ports is 9090. We're going to have two volumes that are going to be folders in this location. One is called Prometheus. The other one is called Prometheus data. Finally, we are going to execute a command to read our Prometheus configuration file. Uh, restart policy unless stopped and we can save now. So escape colon WQ. Now we should have a file here called Docker Compose. Perfect. Now we're going to create the two folders that it needs. The first one is going to be Prometheus, mkdir Prometheus. And the second one is Prometheus data. Now the Prometheus data folder needs to be able to be writable. So we're just going to set up the permissions as, as 777 for Prometheus dash data okay so now we're going to create our prometheus configuration file so we're going to go into the prometheus folder and we're going to create a new file with bim called prometheus we're just going to copy this dot yml perfect i'm going to do escape colon set paste this is to paste with the correct format and i'm going to paste our Prometheus configuration file. So now we press I for insert and we paste. So as you can see here, the global configuration of um, the for the scrape interval, what does it mean scrape in interval is how often the Prometheus server is going to scrape for data from your server. The default is set to 15 seconds for global jobs, but uh, we're going to specify a scrape configuration specifically for our node exporter, which is the one we're going to be using in our target server. Okay, so the script interval for this, I find that five seconds is pretty healthy and you actually get very accurate data. So we're going to use five seconds and now the static configuration for our targets. So our target server here is going to be either the IP or the DNS name of the target server. For this case, I'm going to use an IP and it's going to be the 192.168.0.201. Perfect. This configuration is going to be in the description below so that you can also copy and paste. So we're going to save this configuration and let's clean our terminal. I'm going to do a list here. Perfect. Our configuration is there. So now we're ready to run our Prometheus container. So we're going to do docker compose up dash D to run in the background. Okay. It's going to pull the Prometheus image and create it and start it. Perfect. Let's do a Docker PS to confirm that it's there. And now we can open our browser. And if everything is working correctly, we should be able to navigate to the Prometheus site. So we're going to do 200 90 90. And as you can see, we have our Prometheus instance here. If we navigate to status and then we go to targets, 
we can see that yes, our target is down. It's looking for this IP and port 9100. But of course it's down because we haven't set up the server part, the target server. So let's set up the target server. I'm going to switch back to the terminal. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of the Prometheus server and I'm going to log in into our target server. We're going to repeat the same process. We're going to create a folder in opt mkdir slash opt docker. And then we're going to do docker and this is going to be node exporter. All right, so now we can cd into docker, node exporter, empty folder, perfect. That's what we want. Okay, so now let's create our node exporter configuration. We're going to use vim for this and we're going to do docker compose dot yml back to our docker compose i'm going to do the same thing escape colon set paste and then i for insert and now i'm going to copy the configuration file for the node exporter the difference between the node the, the way we're going to set up the node exporter and the prometheus server is that for the node exporter we need to have the network mode as the host so this is going to add the extra step of having to configure the firewall but this is the next thing that we're going to do so with the configuration file of the node ex exporter now we can save escape write and quit and now we need to configure the firewall. We need to open port 9100 so that the Prometheus server can connect to the target server to communicate and collect all the data. Let's configure the firewall. First, we're gonna see what is the default uh, firewall zone that we have on our server. And for this, we're going to use firewall-cmd get default zone. So our default zone is the public zone. Now we're going to list all of the items of the public zone. So we're going to do sudo firewall cmd list all. And we have a couple of services that are already enabled. Now we're going to add our port with the following command. All of the commands are going to be in the description below so that you can copy and paste. So what are we doing here? So firewall CMD, the default zone is the public zone. We're going to add a permanent rule to add port 9100 in TCP mode. So we're going to add that success. And now we need to reload our firewall. To do that, we're going to use the firewall dash CMD reload. And now if we do an, a list all again, we should be able to see our configured port right here. So the target server is ready and now we can execute our Docker command to run our container. I'm just going to do a quick ls, perfect. And now we're going to do docker compose up dash d to run in the background. It's gonna pull the image, it's gonna run. We do a docker ps to see that everything is there. It looks healthy. So now let's go back to our Prometheus instance and see if it can communicate. So as you can see, Prometheus already started collecting da data from our server. Prometheus is already set up. It's collecting data from our server, but now we need to set up Grafana so that we can visualize all our metrics from our server. So let's set up Grafana. We're going to go to the same server of Prometheus and then we're going to set up another Docker container for Grafana in the same server. Okay, so we need to exit out of here. We're going to go back to our Prometheus server. We're going to go to our Docker folder and we're going to create a new folder for Grafana. So mkdir Grafana. We're going to go into Grafana and we're going to create our Docker Compose configuration file. So docker compose.yml. I'm going to use set paste again. I for insert and paste. YML version 3 services Grafana latest Grafana version container name Grafana. The port that we need is 3000 and the Grafana folder is going to be in the current working directory. R restart policies unless stopped. Perfect. So now we're going to write and quit and we have our docker compose file ready. So we need to make the Grafana data folder. So we're going to do mkdir grafana-data. So this folder needs to be writable. So we're going to change the permissions to 777. For now, it should be fine. Now let's run our container. Okay, it's going to pull the latest version of Grafana. 
let's clear our terminal and then do docker ps again and we can see that our grafana container is here and port 3000 so let's go back to our browser and open a new tab and we're going to go 192.168.0.200 and this time we're going to put the 3000 port and we have our grafana instance ready to go okay so let's configure grafana first the default admin password is admin admin it's going to ask you to of course change the password so we're going to set up a new password for our instance of grafana so the first thing that we want to do in Grafana is we need to add our data source. Our data source is going to be our Prometheus server. And to do that, we're going to go in the little toggle menu here. We're going to go to connections. We're going to go to data sources and we're going to add a data source. In this case, we have a couple of options here. The one we want to choose is Prometheus. So here's where we're going to set up our Prometheus server. So in this case, it's itself. So we're going to type HTTP. 192.168.0.200 and colon 9090. The default values are pretty good, so we don't need to change anything really. But if you're planning on putting this into production, I highly suggest you set up some certificates and some SSL so that uh, all your connections are encrypted and protected. For this tutorial, we're just going to use HTTP. So we're going to leave everything in default. Now we're going to click on save and test. And as we can see, Grafana was able to query the Prometheus API. So our data source is ready to go. Now let's create a dashboard. To configure the dashboards, we're going to go back to the toggle menu. We're going to go to dashboards. So we're going to click on new and then we're going to click on import. Grafana already has really good dashboards for the node exporter. So we're going to import the node exporter full dashboard. Now we need to find out what is the ID. So we're going to go to Google and we're going to type node exporter full dashboard. Uh, the first result is not exported full from Grafana Labs. All right, so this is the dashboard that we want to import into our Grafana instance. If we scroll all the way down, you can see that the ID is 1860. So we're going to, we're going to copy this ID and we're going to go back to our Grafana instance and then we're going to paste the ID right here and then we're going to click on load. Okay, so now we can put a name or anything we want. If you want a specific name for your node exporter, you can change it. But I'm just going to leave everything default, the folder default. And now we need to select our data source. In this case, we only have one data source, Prometheus, and we're going to select it and we're going to click on import. Okay, so as easy as that, now we can visualize all the metrics that Prometheus have been collecting for the past few minutes. Now, uh, right now, the server is not doing anything, so we have very low uh, metrics and very little information. But so we can generate some load on the server to see some graphs. So if I exit from here and I we go back to our target server, what we can do here is we can do yes and then redirect this to dev null and run in the background. We're going to duplicate that four times because this small VM has four cores. Okay, so with the yes command already executed four times in the background, this should put enough load on the small VM. The small VM only has four cores, but we can check that out with htop. And as we can see, our server is working really hard. So all these metrics are going to be pulled by Prometheus and we will be able to see it on our Grafana dashboard. So let's go and check our Grafana now. All right, so we're going to change our timestamp for from 24 hours back to let's say the last five minutes. And as we can see here, we have some load that started on the server. As soon as I started the yes command, you can see the CPU going very high. This dashboard has a lot of information. So if we go, if we click on the little arrow here, we have basic CPU, CPU memory, memory info. So all of these tabs are very advanced. Um, metrics that you can customize and move around. But the node exporter full gives you a very good base from where you can start and customize things and see how the dashboards work. So for example, if we wanted to look at a more detailed information about the CPU, we can click on CPU and memory. 
and this will give us a better and more clear information about it. So for example, if we click here, we can see that the max utilization was usually idle, but now we have some system process executed in kernel mode and it's taking 81% of the CPU. And as you scroll down, you're going to find other metrics like memory stack, which is all the, all the RAM and everything that is used in RAM, the disk space, you have your network traffic. So right now there's not a lot going on, but you can isolate a single interface like this. So it's your input and output of your of your network card. And then, so, so this Nordic exporter is very handy. And from here you can build up and maybe create some custom dashboards for your server. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Leave any questions or suggestions in the comment section below and I'll see you on the next one.